In this war, I have known a lot of officers who were loved and respected by the soldiers under them. But never have I crossed the trail of any man as beloved as Captain Henry T. Waskow of Belton, Texas. After my own father, he came next, a sergeant told me. He always looked after us, a soldier said. He'd go to bat for us every time. I was at the foot of the mule trail the night they brought Captain Waskow's body down. The moon was nearly full at the time, and you could see far up the trail and every part of the way across the valley below. Dead men had been coming down the mountain all evening, lashed onto the backs of mules, bobbing up and down as the mule walked. Then they laid him on the ground in the shadow of the low stone wall alongside the road. This one is Captain Waskow, one of them said quietly. Two men unlashed his body from the mule and lifted it off and laid it in the shadow beside the low stone wall. They stood around and gradually, one by one, I could sense them moving close to Captain Waskow's body. Not so much to look, I think, as to say something in finality to him. One soldier came and looked down and he said out loud, God damn it. That's all he said. Then he walked away. Another man came. He squatted, he reached down. He took the dead man's hand and he sat there for a full five minutes, holding the dead man's hand in his own and looking intently into the dead face. And he never uttered a sound all the time he sat there. Finally, he put the hand down and he reached up and gently straightened the points of the captain's shirt collar. And then he sort of rearranged the tattered edges of his uniform around the wound. And then he got up and walked away down the road in the moonlight, all alone. Ernie Pyle. It's simply a beautiful piece of writing. It's an extraordinarily well done um, description of a single scene. It's, it's, it's realistic, um, and yet it conveys this uh, palpable sense of emotion. Pyle's column Beloved Captain, ran in more than 400 newspapers around the world, many times featured on page one. It became the most iconic piece of newspaper writing about the war and solidified Pyle as a giant in the medium. In that short piece, Pyle captured the essence of being at war, of men at war. It's a magnificent piece of literature, Ernie Pyle at his best. Tears get in my eyes when I talk about that. This is, this is reporting at its finest.